So basically I've got two uh, 7x2 joists which I've had to put together and bolt together and um, basically what you need for that is this threaded rod, some bolts, I got these big um, square washers, like that, and then in between the joists um, these go in and they sort of grip both sides of the wood and sort of tie it together. I call them like death stars, I don't know, they're really sharp and uh, quite lethal looking things so that they sort of get squashed in between the two bits of timber. But um, I just thought, you know, what, what could be a good little tip, because a lot of people might not be aware of it, is just how to um, cut this rod. I mean, for instance, I'm joining these two bits of timber, I want some lengths at 125mm. Um, I've already done these, these ones here, so I'm going to put eight in all together. So, uh, along here, sort of two by two, all the way along the timber. So, a good little tip I've learned how to do this. I just you, know, you just learn as you go along, and it seems to work really well for me. You get basically you get all the four nuts like that, and thread them on. So we're going to thread those on. What I'm going to do then is also put one at the opposite end. Right, so there we go, we've got one at the opposite end, one on there, another one, okay, getting on there, and another one, and we're going to just keep threading those on, we're going to leave that one right at the top there, and thread these two down, so we've got one at either end, and these two going down now, so basically I'm going to keep threading that down, until they get close to uh, the measurement I want. So here we go, going as quick as I can. I should be there fairly soonish. Right, Tio. So I'll just make sure that nut there is flush with the end of the rod there. I'll take a measurement. I want 125 mil. 12.5 centimeters. So a little bit more. A bit more. So I'm going to take that to 120, that bolt. There. So I know now I just need to cut in between those two bolts. And the reason you do this is if you cut that and then try to thread another bolt on there, it's going to be really difficult. You've already got the bolt ready for the next one then, you see. And then by putting one on the opposite side as well, it'll sit nice and level then. And you cut it and it stays really stable then. And you can, so if I cut bang in the middle of that, it should be our 125. There we go. So I'll just cut in the middle of that. Got our bolt there ready, and you know I, it's a bit difficult. And then just a few turns of the nut over the cut thread there, and it's it's really good then. So when we do our next one now, what I do then is I wind that bolt back up over the thread I've just cut, so nearly off, not quite, and then wind it back on, and then that will help. It shouldn't be too difficult then to thread the next one on then. So I'll do the same again. Just put uh, the nut on there. And then another nut. You just repeat the process then. So it's just a, I just thought I'd show you that. It's just a nice little tip, you know, it's to save struggling. And uh, we just pull those down to whatever measurement we require there. And um, that's how I basically cut uh, threaded rod and uh, it's a nice simple way of doing it. Um, hope you enjoyed that little tip. Okay. Right here's the two joists now up in the attic space. I'm just going to get ready to join them up. So uh, we've got them laid out there. Um, so basically it's quite simple. Um, there's uh, nuts and bolts there. So um, 
I just grab one of these, take one of the nuts off one end. Oh. This is a problem when you're trying to hold the camera and film as well, but uh, I'll do my best. So there we go, I've taken the nut off the one end. And what I did before um, I brought the joist there, I just did some pen marks there just to help me line it up. So um, hopefully uh, that should all work out quite nicely. And then what we've also got to do is retrieve some of these square washers here. So that goes on one end of the thread, like so. There we go. And then um, let's just feed it in. And uh, it is quite a snug fit. So if we have a look, there we are. We've got it sort of through there. And then we now need one of these here. Vicious looking things. So they'll sort of uh, clamp both bits of wood and sort of tie them together. You know, stop any movement between the two timbers basically sort of I suppose it sort of makes it more like a single piece where you can't really have much twisting or as such I think that's the main purpose of it so let's just feed that in there and then push it through to the other side there we are there we go, so it's basically like that, and then a uh, washer on the other side, and then just put the nut back on there then, so we got a washer on either side, what I'll do is I'll just give that a little tap in, there we go. so just a bit more of the thread pops out the other side. Put our Square washer on there, and bolt that on. So what I'll do is I'll get all the nuts in and then uh, we'll bolt it all together. And what I also often do, just to help me before um, I sort of bolt it together, I'll, I'll, I'll put some clamps on there just to hold everything together nicely. And then uh, you can see it's all been squeezed together. You can see that uh, sandwiched in between, I can't think what they're called to be honest. Um, have a look on the box here if they've got a particular name. Oh, no, that's the square washers. But there's the box of them. They're just a Cyberfix. Uh, there we go. So that's what you got to look out for if you're down your builder's yard. So, um, yeah, we'll screw those together and uh, we'll uh, show you a little clip of that then in a minute. Right, we've got all the bolts in and uh, nothing's tightened up yet. I got those. Um, couple of uh, clamps at either end just holding it all together nicely for me so um, let me zoom in there you can sort of see what's what so um, basically now it's just a matter of uh, tightening up the bolts and it's uh, very straightforward um, I'm fortunate enough I got um, my impact wrench here so I'll just hold it with one spanner on one side and uh, I'm going to sort of try to see if I can do this with um, Perhaps what I'll try to do is um, set the camera up somewhere, somehow, on, just prop it, hold it up on something, and then um, I'll uh, zap those bolts in there. You can sort of see it closing up nicely then, and uh, we'll have a little blast. Right, yo, let's give this a blast. I'm just holding uh, the nut steady on the other side with a adjustable spanner. You can see it closing up nicely. And sometimes what I like to do is give the other side a uh, blast as well so that they sort of screw in evenly on either side. There you go. In fact, I'll even do a little bit without holding it together there. That's turning, so I'll just hold that still. Oh, I threaded it. Really closing up now. There we go, it's 
closed right up nice and tight so I'll just uh, repeat that for the less of it and uh, that's basically how you join two joists together it's very straightforward just uh, another quick little DIY tip that you might find useful if uh, you're ever in this scenario where you need to sort of um, strengthen because quite often you might need to strengthen up a joist and one joist isn't strong enough so that's the ba basic method of doing it and uh, something this sort of length this is 3.6 meters I'd use about eight bolts and uh, yeah quite straightforward just uh, easy if you've got the right tools but uh, something like a socket spanner will do the job really well and quite easily as well so um, good luck if you ever attempt that a nice um, straightforward little job you can do